Shalom, all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone by Shem Rakak Ladash. My name is Chicago from Planet Tables Camp of Philly. This is, uh, let me show you a bit of like a minute or two play from the Apostle Gabar's video. We are in a time of suffering for our sins, not in a time of empty flattery and meaningless praises. I just want to focus on a few things that he said here, then I'll bring out a few scriptures on it. We go in the book of, uh, we've been called into, into this thing, brothers, and you few sisters that believe in this knowledge is true. We've been called into, into this thing to suffer. Okay? Simply put, we've been called into this thing. <clears throat> excuse me. We've been called into this thing to suffer. To be purged. That's how you become clean or purged, by suffering. Tells you that in the book of Hebrews, the second chapter, the tenth verse. But suffering righteously, you know. Uh, this is the book of Ecclesiasticus 2 and 1. Let's read it. It says, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord. So we've been called into this ministry, right? We, we come to serve the Lord, right? Prepare thy soul for temptation. See? Set thy heart aright, meaning set your mind aright, and constantly endure. Now guess what? The, the race ain't over yet. We still got more to endure. That, that's that's the title for a video right there more to endure all right we haven't really seen the time of jacob's trouble yet and we have to endure that because we're going to be right smack dab in the in, in the midst of it so we're going to have to endure it and we're going to have to endure it through through faith it's going to come a time when you have to totally rely on your how about shimei shai to be delivered to be protected and delivered to be guided we haven't reached that time yet Elder Apostle said, you know, the, uh, suffering and enduring. All right, we have uh, faith. You know, how how are we going to suffer? Is it deter is determined by Yahweh Shai, and how are we going to uh, survive and endure it is also. We just have to have faith. So that faith is a gift. So we're going to start off with Proverbs fourteen. It says. The simple believe with every word, but the prudent man looketh well to his goings. All right. So, like the elders and apostles always say, that we um got to examine ourselves and see whether we can continue. All right. We have to uh, examine like the path we're on. If if we do, we really believe. Are we showing our uh, faith by works? All right. We don't have the excuse of ignorance. All right. It says, uh, man looketh well to his goings. So that's your pathway. Um, looketh well, 995. You have bayan, meaning to discern. Yeah, you got to be able to, to discern your footsteps moving forward. Are you going in the right direction? All right. And it's going to be. You know, you're going to have doubts. You're going to have different spirits, you know, telling you different things. But you just have to you know, look at your life, uh, you know, walk honestly, you know, do the right thing. Do what the scriptures say. You know, we're not going to be uh, no rich, you know, no, like relative to you know, Esau and the other nations. But, you know, we're going to have, you know, our little situation going on. All right. You, you may get sick. All right. Overall, examine yourself and line your actions up with the scriptures. All right. So look as well to observe. All right. Look, observe. So are you are you going on the right path? Are you doing every? Are you doing what you're supposed to be doing? All right. Consider. All right. Yeah, something that says uh, a wise man feareth and departeth from evil. Yeah, so if you know you encounter a situation, or if you've been doing something, you know, in a, in a situation, it's, there's going to be a point where you're going to say, "Okay, this I have to change my behavior." All right, it says and departeth from evil. So, but the fool rageth and is confident. But see, but if you're a fool, then you're going to be confident. And your error. You're going to be confident in not improving. All right. Let's 
Let's see some more that I got to say. Wait when all, all hell breaks loose in this society. Wait when this society is, is, has totally crumbled. The money, the so-called money system is done away with. And you're going from the, the transition of the money system being done away with to the transition of everyone have mandatorily having that MOTB, that electronic chip inside of them. The transition between the, the, the money, the, the dollar bills being done away with and the mandatory implantation of that chip, that's going to be a very rough transition, man. Very rough transition. And it's in the... And it's in those days when we're going to have to totally trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahshai because we're not going to take that chip. We're going to totally rely on Yahweh Bashim Yahshai uh, for, for our deliverance, for our guidance. So we haven't reached that time yet. We're, we're fast approaching to it, but we haven't reached that time yet. All right, so faith, all right? And we got to understand and truly believe that the Lord cares for us, Yahweh Shai cares for us. All right. This is because uh, we're gonna need we we need help and we're gonna need help. So uh uh, uh moving forward, our walk is faith based. All right. This is John fourteen ten. Believers though not that I am in the Father and the Father in me. The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me. He doth the works. All right. Believe me that I am in the Father. The Father is Yahweh. The son is Yahweh Shai and the father in me or else believe me for the very work's sake. Verily, verily, I say unto you, uh, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also and greater works than these shall he do because I go to my father. Yeah, so we believe that we believe that we're going to be uh, blessed with the power that Yahweh Shai had, you know, and greater works as it, as it is written. All right. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Yeah, and then when we ask, you know, it's not going to be, you know, perfect as we want it to be perfect. All right? Because Yahweh Shai can do anything. In an instant, he can make, he can change the stature of a, of a man. He can make a, a, a righteous man wicked and a wicked man righteous. He can do that with a thought. All right? Because Yahweh Shai controls everything. All right? Through the power of his uh, father all right so uh, if we ask the the lord creator and master of the universe something he's going to give it to us all right and whatsoever ye shall ask in my name in the name of yahweh and his son yahweh shai that that will i do that the father may be glorified in the son if ye shall ask anything in my name i will do it if ye love me, keep my commandments. All right. So we have to be obedient. Showing obedience is a sign of faith. All right. Show show your action. Show your faith by your action. All right. Say you're going to do something. Do it. You need you need to improve in in, in something. Sometimes the Lord might put you in a situation where He makes you improve, and He'll slowly help you. All right. But you have to keep those commandments. Debate the very basic things. All right? Which is doing the work. All right? It's the states keeping your ass out of trouble. All right? This is Luke 12 and 4. And I say unto you, uh, there's points here in the thing I believe in 8. Uh, uh, are ye so are not five sparrows sold for two farthings and not one of them is forgotten before Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai not one alright so you look at a sparrow as a very small thing that you might think is not that significant in the grand scheme of things but the Lord took care for even the one alright but even the very hairs of your head are all numbered fear not therefore ye are more valuable than many sparrows. So you got to start thinking of yourself as a valuable person. All right. Not as just a nobody. We're more valuable than the sparrows. We're workmen. 
right? We're the Lord's workmen. We're, we're representatives of Yahweh Shai on earth. All right. So we got to carry ourselves as that because soon if we're of the elect, we're going to shine like the stars in heaven. All right. Fear not. Therefore, ye are more valuable than many sparrows. All right. So we have an office to fulfill. All right. Yahweh Shai loves us. All right. We're not insignificant. Uh, he created us for a reason to use it to uh, to use us to exert his will on the earth. All right. Also, I say unto you, whatsoever, whosoever shall confess me before men, him shall the Son of Man also confess before the angels of the power. Alright. Yeah, so if if we we'll, we'll, we get protection. All right, and and he's gonna give us his Holy Spirit and and protection, because Yahweh Shai sent his angels throughout the earth to to uh, you know to govern certain things in the earth. Like you know, you have angels that set over the the, the wind, the waters, and uh, different spirits and people. You know, you got different different spirits controlling. But he that denieth me before men shall to be denied before the angels of the power. All right, so we all and we all got a guardian angel. Where to the point is Matthew 10, 18 and 10. Take heed that ye despise not one of these little ones. For I say unto you that in heaven their angels do always behold the face of my father, which is in heaven. Right? So if the Lord, Yahweh Shai, can, you know, says to our angels, look out for us, do this for us, help us here. Those angels are going to help us. That's the power that we have. That's the unique thing that we have that the people in the world don't have, even though they have angels too, you know. But when it comes to uh, our angels, are going to fight for us more than their angels. All right, we we are unique in this situation because we have the name of the, the Father and the Son. All right, and we're doing the work, and we're walking honestly. So as long as we do that, you know, we're going to have the advantage, all right? especially when the time when Jacob trouble comes. All right. I'll let the elder play a little more of his video and uh, I'll play a little more of the elder's video and then I'll close the lesson up. So this is an example of one of the things we have to constantly endure. Like it says here, set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. Make not haste in time of trouble. The Bible clearly tells us about a time of trouble that's coming as the earth has never seen. We haven't entered into that yet. So again, you, you're starting to see how, how, how stupid it is to be honored as if you've gone through all these things, you've made it on the other, other side, and now you've been made a king, complete with the crown on your head. It's total stupidity. And that just shows me that that group, and, and, and rightly so, Elder Pastor called that group a bunch of zombies. That just shows me indeed they're a bunch of zombies. He's talking about the, the IUIC, and that's an excellent point because do you think the Lord's going, uh, Yahweh Shah is going to confess that type of behavior before the, uh, the angels? So, when the uh, uh, some calamity, some great disaster happens, you think the Lord going to protect them? The Lord's not going to, pro going to protect them unless they have the elect, you know? But it, it, well, even if you have the elect, the Lord will uh, uh, hurt you to pour you, you know to get you in your right mind of, uh, frame of uh, thinking. All right. But they're not of the elect, you know, the Lord is not going to protect them. So that type of behavior, that's not honorable behavior. All right. So the, the, when the, the Lord said, which I read that the, the, the um, he's going to confess you before the angels. All right. In order for us to get confess, get that protection from the, from the, uh, our angels that are under Yahweh Shah's command, we got to be in obedience. We got to be humble. We got to be doing the work the right way in order for the Lord to confess us before our angels. It says, uh, but he that denieth, uh, Luke 12, Luke 12 and 9, but he that denieth me before men shall be denied before the angels of the power. And you can say <laughs> that group has denied the name of Yahweh and his son. You can say that. All right? But then he'll say, oh, well, well, I, well we we know the name of the Lord is Yahweh Shai. Okay, but you're still denying the name because you're not openly preaching it, propagating it, spreading it amongst the congregation, amongst your congregation. 
right, I'll end it here. Luke 12 and 8. Also, I say unto you, whosoever shall confess me before men, we will confess the name of Yahweh, and we confess the name of Yahweh Shai. So we expect, we hope Yahweh Shai uh, sends uh, his angels, our angels, our guardian angels, to protect us and guide us. Whosoever shall confess me before men, him shall the Son of Man also confess before the angels of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, so we, the hopeful we let, you know, we pray that his protection is always with us. All right, no matter what happens, Yahweh Shai. Well, he said it. He said, I'm with you even to the end of the world. Yahweh Shai said that. All right, so we have faith that, that those things are true. All right, so I'll end it there. Hope you edify it. Shalom.